We have uh, seven okay. regular aluminum yeah. and six IR. Oh, cool. Yes, Good. sir. Tunk at the bottom. You going to confirm that it's there? Look at Roger. The lamp too as well. Okay. Let's see. Here's the ten mark. Ten mm -hmm. seconds. Mm -hmm. Up twenty. Mm -hmm. Don't go backwards. Just go all the way around, sir. Mm -hmm. mm. Viking six Romeo, you're fucking saber six. Yeah, Roger. Hang it! Fire! Fire! Ready, hang it! Fire! Fire! Good. Drop it. All right. All right. So, 
who would like to shoot? That's good. Much better. Confirm their OP grid. I need to get eyes on this. Hey, go ahead and move over this way because we're going to. Don't you guys get ramp caught? You did. I'm probably gonna steal your uh, satcom. Yeah. You guys will be going up to the OP. So yeah. Can, uh, Dan Carlson can use that to talk to squadron down here. And Absolutely. Everything. Sounds good. Can you make sure that your uh, Jim is uh, in the off position real quick so we can uh, address that? So there's a little bit. Yeah. Just if you hang out with him, we'll. <sighs> As part of this operation, Saber Blitzkrieg, to uh, influence the enemy as he attempts to uh, bring lethal aid uh, out of Pakistan into the Kandahar area, and then uh, and also uh, hone these skills of our soldiers as they continue combat operations until the end of our tour here in Afghanistan. And more importantly, they can take those skills with them throughout the rest of their career, knowing that they came here to Afghanistan, achieved the mission, and then. Uh, compare their younger next generation of soldiers in the preparation for uh, further combat operations that may be held anywhere around the world. Cache material, you can hide it anywhere in here. Yeah. So we can do call recovery. We can get it, get it out. Not even that. It's yeah. yeah, the hill, and they can see you into there. Then I have to go forward and you just go back. Oh, we're just recovering the vehicle that we got stuck in a riverbed. Then you go up and it goes around. I'm like, look, I ain't taking this. Second thing, sometimes going forward is not the best option. Sometimes going backwards is the best option. It's flat. Over there is crevices everywhere. Now you can bring in the guns, baby.
Six, ever six. Go sit right there. Need you to move from south to north, uh, egressing uh, to the west, and request uh, guns and rockets uh, on inbound. I'll clear your hide over. Saber six, Roger over. Neutralized. Oh, here they come. A five one uh, saber six uh, in the mission. Okay. Redetermine your uh, direction and distance to send it back to Command Chief Five One. Over. Oh, good. 30, 40 feet down, so it wow. doesn't take much to get up to the surface, and obviously you can pretty much grow anything out here. It was a little bit of water, plenty of sunlight, obviously. So. Uh. Okay, yeah.
You ready? Hey, what we're doing today is conducting Operation Saber Blitzkrieg. Essentially what we're doing today is uh, we're on the south side of the uh, Daman district here in uh, Kandahar province, Afghanistan. This operation is a fire support operation where we're essentially exercising our ability to integrate uh, both 60 millimeter and 120 millimeter uh, mortars in conjunction with both rotor wing and fixed wing aviation. What we're trying to achieve here is an effect where not only through training but also uh, through our simple employment of these systems in conjunction with one another, we're attempting to influence the enemy's uh, rat lines or his line supplies they come through the Registan Desert here in Kandahar. Through Operation uh, Saber Blitzkrieg today, not only were we able to provide uh, enemy effects on his rat lines coming out of the Registrand Desert in the Kandahar province, we we'll also have the ability to uh, conduct training. And what is done today is allowed our, our mortar sections, both 60s and 120s, the ability to work as a team to finally tune themselves so we can continue uh, conducting operations against the enemy. At home station in Vilsack, Germany, you know, we, we conduct this training on a regular basis. Here, we're actually in enemy territory uh, conducting training. And what it has provided us is the ability to uh, not only hone our systems to get more responsive in our fires, but also is brought us the ability to uh, become more responsive. So as we continue to conduct operations throughout our AO, we'll be able to engage the enemy who presents yourself on the battlefield. What's also unique about this operation is uh, we brought uh, Intel assets with us. So as we conduct these operations, we'll be able to uh, conduct intelligent collection, uh, both through human and SIGINT on the enemy, as obviously being in uh, enemy territory out here, he's probably observing us and wondering what we're doing out here uh, through this operation. Through that intelligence collection that we are doing today and tonight, we'll be able to take that information in, uh, cross cue that with other intelligence information, and hopefully be able to provide our forces follow on maneuver operations in order to uh, conduct um, either kinetic or non-kinetic operations against uh, Taliban forces located here both in the Dan and the Mon districts.